All right, YouTube. So, happy New Year's, everybody. Thought I'd come on. I'm starting off the new YouTube, uh, the YouTube. I'm starting off the new year with a bang. The, my first day I got up, I woke up early this morning, had some coffee and some breakfast. Jumped right in and started getting on some editing that I needed to do. I've been needing to get some editing done. I've been editing a lot anyway. I edited actually last night and I edited, um, I edited all, all weekend basically. I've been editing like nonstop. But I was doing this, I had uh, somebody replied to me on, on YouTube. Let me see if I can bring it up. I don't wanna sit here and go through the comments on YouTube. Um, let's go over here. It was on my YouTube page. You guys know my YouTube page. So this guy here, uh, Sal Film. Yes, I use this crop feature. Use this feature, I want my clip to be exact duration I need, and I don't care about its speed. And speed when you change, change clip speed, not only changing percentage of the clip. So we were having a discussion on the other video, I'll show, shorten this, about the, the thing that I liked a lot about Premiere was the, the rate stretch tool where you could drag the clip out. Remember I discussed that. You could just drag the end of the clip and make it fill the gap of the speed that you wanted. So I was, I've been editing and he, he said, just set an in and an out, see what that duration is. Make the new clip that duration and it will actually slow it down if you go to speed and change the, change the duration instead of going to duration and changing the duration. So I thought, well, let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in a multi-camera setting right now in Edius. This is Edius version nine, but I think it works like this ever since version six or seven. And this is, it's, it's a workaround. It takes a couple extra steps, but it doesn't take that many extra steps and it works really, really well. So I was like, well, let's give it a shot. So I've got a first look here. I use multi-camera. I've been practicing messing around on multi-camera. So this is basically a first look. So I've got the groom standing here and uh, I zoomed in. There's the bride. She comes around the corner. She's walking up and then I got a shot from her from the back. She looks back at me. Uh, this is shot with the GH5 and the G85. This camera here is actually, no, not which one is it? Um, the one from the side. This camera here is the G85 shooting in 4K. It looks good anyway. I mean, it's a good looking camera. And then this one here is the GH5. This is the GH5 right here. Um, I believe this is 422 10-bit. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, so the G85 gets her from the side, walks up. She puts her hand on her shoulder. He turns around. Get that other angle. I wanted to get the window. See, I wanted to get the glass of her walking up. You can see her walking up in the glass over here. I wanted to get it, so I wanted to get this angle really well. None of this has been graded or colored or anything, so it's basic basically just i'm just doing the rough cut edit so this is the gh5 that's the g85 and back to the gh5 this is how edius does the multi-camera it leaves the tracks in there you can just drag the tracks over i thought it was kind of neat so i can if i wanted this one to be longer or shorter i can just drag it over like i can just say okay i want this one to be here and then this one to be there so i want this to start a little sooner just drag it over just like you normally would just like before it leaves the one underneath, but you can just drag it back over. Boom. Now it's going from there to there. This is the clip that's turned off. This is the one that's turned on. You can, I think you can right click and choose enable the clip or whatever. You can go back and, and into the clip and, and just set it. So anyway, there was a clip right here and I thought, well, this is a perfect situation where it goes. She was spinning and then the next cl clip has her spinning, but over here. So I wanted to stretch this clip to fill in this gap. So it's the exact same situation. So let's go back. Let's go look. So here's the situation. I want this clip. So anyway, so this clip here, I want to fill in this gap. So this gap here, just like Premiere, where I showed you where I had a clip and I wanted this clip. Normally in Premiere, I just grab the rate stretch tool and drag this clip over to here. But see, that's the end of the clip. It's not longer than that. So I can't drag this. There's no rate stretch tool, no way to drag this clip to make it this length. So what you do is you right click and you choose set endpoint. And then you go to on the timeline, you go to the next part where you want it to end. Even if you want it to go past this a little bit, but if you want it to end right here, 
right click and set out point. Now this tells you what the duration of this gap is, this entire duration. So you look right here on the bottom, it says current. Uh, that's the current point where the timeline is. In is 137, out is 140. So the duration is 212, two semicolon 12. So all I have to do is take this clip right here, right click and choose time effect speed. And instead of changing the speed, go down to the duration and change it to 212. Two colon 12, 212. Boom, that's it. Now this clip is slowed down to 212. You hear the audio stops because it's playing this audio. So I can always make it play this audio underneath. But anyway, I'm going to put something over it anyway. But it slows it down. So there you go. So now the clip plays. It does exactly what I wanted. It slows the clip down and continues on on the next shot. It's exactly what I wanted it to do. So there's a quick tutorial on how to, and then you can just clear in and out. Um, clear in and out points, boom, now you're done. Now you're ready to keep going and editing and you can, and you don't have to drag the end of the clip out. Oops, I bumped it again. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought I'd share it with you quick this morning. YouTube. I appreciate everybody. Uh, I was playing the game last night. I know you guys were watching me play. Some some of you guys watched me play some Battlefield last night. Um, but I was because it was New Year's Eve. I had a couple beers and I was playing some games. So anyway, um, granddaughter's yelling for me like I'm like I'm not busy doing something or on the phone or something. Anyway, I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one. Here's a that I hope I hope this helps anybody who's looking for the rate stretch tool in this program or in any other editing program. And uh, I got to get back to editing, so be cool. Have a good, happy uh, New Year's Day. Happy New Year's 2018. I look forward to uh, making many videos and doing a bunch of stuff with y'all this year. So see you, YouTube. I'm out.